Hi, I'm Brian Pause with the Yale University Porvoo Center for Teaching and Learning. Today, I will explain a few different options for whiteboarding within a Zoom session. Let's begin our tutorial. The first option I would like to talk about is Zoom's built-in whiteboard feature. And this can be accessed in a Zoom meeting by going to Share Screen and then selecting Whiteboard. Once you share your whiteboard, you're given a toolbar with options on how to contribute material to that whiteboard. You can type text, draw, and a series of other tools. Here we've selected draw, and you can use your mouse or a tablet device, if you have one on your computer, to draw on your whiteboard. If you would like to prevent other people from also contributing to your whiteboard, we can navigate to the More section in your toolbar and choose to disable participants annotation. Now only you as the host will be able to add content to the whiteboard. You can erase material and you can also use this icon that looks like a trash can to clear all drawings, clear just your drawings, or clear participants' drawings if any appear on your whiteboard. You can also choose to save your whiteboard by clicking Save. This saves an image file that you can later share with your students. The second option for whiteboarding that I'd like to talk about is annotating within a PowerPoint presentation. So we can go to Share Screen and choose a PowerPoint presentation. Now, when running this show, on a blank slide, we see options in the lower left-hand corner um, to annotate on this slide. And here we see an icon that looks like a pen. And when we click that, we have options for how we'd like to annotate on this board. So here we can select pen and then write on our PowerPoint slide. These can be saved um, on the PowerPoint presentation and again shared with your students after the meeting. Thank you for watching and listening. The Porvoo Center has developed a library of digital recordings and resources, so we encourage you to search for other helpful information on our website.